I'm Jordan McGuire, and uh, this is my connection to uh, Interlink, and uh, specifically this album in particular here. This is uh, the 2003 compilation, uh, Congratulations, uh, put out by Interlink, and uh, I hung out with all the older kids uh, for some reason. I just could relate with them better. I guess I'm an old soul, you would say. And um, so I decided to take this uh, from one of my friends, and... Um, and it was awesome, man. It was the uh, the first song, Pressing On by Reliant K, uh, just, just really uh, spoke to me. I was going through uh, a falling out with my church, but still uh, wanted a connection with uh, Jesus Christ. And um, and this, this album kind of did it for me, man. Uh, it was a reminder. Um, you know, that song in particular, I kind of wrote all the other ones off because that first track just had such an impact with the distorted guitars and that punk rock, you know, rebellious feel, but uh, with the positive message. I decided that this was my last day, so I did some research on the internet uh, of a combination of things that I could take with heroin, which heroin alone is pretty lethal. Um, so I decided to do. Um, I know you're probably not familiar with the measurements or anything, but I did 14 bags of heroin, I did an entire bundle of heroin, um, eight 20 Xanax uh, uh, bars, the, there's these big yellow ones that are hardly prescribed as a whole pill. Uh, I ate 20 of those and washed it down with half of a bottle of Jack Daniels, and um, I was pronounced dead in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. And I won't sit back and take this anymore, cause I'm done with that, I've got one foot out the door. You know, it really resonated with me throughout the years, through my falling out and uh, and coming back to the Lord. Um, I would always think of Reliant K's pressing on that I heard for the first time. Their congratulations, 2003. Somewhere.